that time. It's game time, baby. That time. <laughs> time to kick off Sports Extra. Brought to you by Southside Lumber. Now, News 3's... As promised, now to the night in high school football. We start in DeCoin, where the Harrisburg Bulldogs continued their brutal season opening schedule. After opening last week with Mount Carmel, the Dogs hit the road tonight to take on the Indians. We head to Van Meter Field. First quarter, DeCoin quarterback A.J. Hill is going to dump the pass off to David Rose, and he takes it 18 yards for the touchdown. Indians up 7-0 early. Now to quarter number two, Harrisburg's Reed Roper back to punt, and it is going to be blocked. Rolls all the way to the end zone. Dalton Morgan can't hold on to it. It rolls out of play, resulting into the safety. Now 9-0, but as soon as the Indians got the ball back, they capitalized. Hill finds Morgan, and he holds on to this one, and he's going to go all the way in for the 50-yard TD. Indians all over Harrisburg tonight, 43-7 the final. In Metropolis, Fairfield visiting Massac County. We're in the second quarter, Fairfield's Cody Greifsu, the one-yard touchdown. The Mules on top, 7-0. Massac coming right back. Zach Kester. He goes to Matt Lagore. Big game for Lagore here. The touchdown. We are tied at seven. Massac gets it back. It's Kester again to number 88. And the little guy, he's got a lot of room ahead of him. Is he going to take it all the way? No, he is dragged down at about the 15 yard line. Massac in business, but Fairfield steps up. They get to Kester on the blitz. Tim Moore gets him, killing the drive right before the half. 7-7 at the break. Third quarter, Fairfield driving, but it's a fumble, and the Patriots pounce on it. They are back in business a couple plays later. It is Lagore again. Another touchdown for Matt Lagore, and the Patriots go on and beat Fairfield tonight, 27-14. Now to our spotlight game, Murfreesboro and Anna Jonesboro. Murphy coming off that big win against Carbondale last week, but they did not get off to a good start tonight. Cody Gould mishandles the punt, then he kicks it. The Wildcats capitalize after that miscue. It is Rick Hicks, and the big man takes it 30 yards for the touchdown. Anna on top. The Wildcats getting it done on special teams as well. Sully Edwards scoops up the ball for the touchdown. It is 12-zip Wildcats now. Some defense, Adam Kelly with the nice pop right there. Anna getting it done, the big blue machine <laughs> on a roll all night long. Even the kids on a roll as well. Quarterback Luke Partridge makes a 26 nothing here with the easy touchdown. AJ all over Murphy tonight, 46 to seven. We found another river to river crossover game in Pinckneyville as the Panthers welcome West Frankfurt. And it was a rough and tumble one in this one as well. And and they're just rolling all over the place tonight here. Nathan Morton gets to Panther quarterback Eric Russell for the sack. Pinckneyville kept out of the end zone all night. The story of this one, former wide receiver, now starting quarterback Kendrick Simulton taking it over, getting it done through the air. Then Simulton will take it himself for the only score of the game. And the Redbirds win it. 7 nothing. your final. Same theme in Benton as the Rangers rolled out the welcome match for Sparta. First quarter, Quincy Hamilton on fourth and goal from the 11. He finds Trevor Myers, and Myers takes it in. The two-point conversion was good. Rangers up 21-0. Second quarter now, Tim Korn on the run on the punt return, and he's going to pick up a few blocks, 32 yards, and Benton was in business. A few plays later, Travis Crawford will take it in from four yards out. Rangers up 28-0 at that point. Sparta would get on the board. Before the half, Blake Shelton to Cody Klein for the touchdown. 28-6 Rangers at the break, and they cruise to a big win. 49-12 the final. Let's go to the Black Diamond. Hamilton County visiting Cesar Valier. Red Devils' Gavin Bassett is going to make the catch, but then it's a fumble, and it is picked up by Hamilton County's Justin Webb. Hamco is in business. It's Kane Smith on the receiving end of that 25-yard pass. Next play is Brandon Biggerstaff fighting his way to the six-yard line. Then it's Adam Irvin to Webb in the end zone. 6-0 Hamilton County, and they go on and beat Cesar Valera tonight by the score of 14 to nothing. How about Johnston City? And CZR, Johnston City's Derek Sullivan. 
runs the ball in from the four yard line late in the third quarter. We are even at seven, a tight ball game. Later in the third, Johnson City's Colton Johnson. He'll sneak it in from the one, and the Indians on top, 14 to seven. Ever seen a backwards kickoff, it says here? I guess we're gonna see one, and there it is. Justin Mornaway kicked the ball five yards behind the line, and... It's an inverse on sides. Yes, whatever that means. What's the score here? What's the final score? 15-14. 15-14. All right, I'll rescue you. Inverse. Yeah, you got to work on your vocabulary, Ricky. Our final prep visual will stop Elkville. Alvarado Trico taking on El Dorado. Starting things in the second half. Dakota Kramer takes it in to Keith Morrison for the touchdown. Eagles up 20. Morrison was not done. Next possession. He breaks in 10 yards up the middle. El Dorado up 27. Falcon coach Duffy Sanders not very happy with the result. Of course, he coached at El Dorado last year, and on the next Eagle possession, it's guess who? Morrison, this time with the 50-yard scamper. Three touchdowns in five and a half minutes for him. The Eagles cruise 41-0. Your final. Other scores tonight. Carterville beats Carmine White County 40-6. The Lions are 2-0. Mount Vernon falls to 0-2, losing at home to O'Fallon 33-2. 21. It was Marion beating Highland 22 to 6. Wildcats are 1 and 1. James Austin 285 yards and five touchdowns for Carbondale. Terriers Hammer Heath 42 14. Heron is 2 and 0 after blanking Bethalto Civic Memorial 34 0. Nashville falls to Breeze Modern Day 46 to 14. Mascuda beats Centralia 39 29. And it was Belleville West over Altoff 26 23. And Chester falls to Fredericktown, Missouri 